Hi, I'm Lydia. And I'm Alice, and we're from Canberra Village College. We'll be performing to you Act 2, Scene 3 from Midsummer Night's Dream. I'll be playing Hermia. And I'll be playing Helena. And this is the part when the two girls are having a really serious fight because Hermia thinks that Helena is cheating on her with Lysander, who is her love. And Helena thinks this is all a big prank, but she's just going too far. And we really wanted to perform this duologue because we found it very interesting the journey that the two girls are going on throughout it. It's not just throughout the duologue though, but it's throughout the whole play. <coughs> and we also feel like we really connect with the characters. Yes, and this is for two different reasons. The first being the troubles that they're going through, like boy problems and arguments with their friends, are the kind of thing that happens even today and well, now. <laughs> the second thing is that the two girls are best friends in the play, and we are also in real life. So we wanted to explore the themes of friendship that come in this play. We thank you in advance for watching, and we really hope you enjoy. Oh, me, you, you, you juggler! You can't blossom! You thief of love! What? Have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Fine, I think. Have you no modesty? No pain and shame, no touch of bashfulness? Or what? Will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fine, fine. You counterfeit! Puppet, you! Puppet! Why so? Hi, that way goes again. Now perceive that she hath made compare between her statures, she hath urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth, she hath prevailed with him. Are you going so high in his esteem? Because I'm so dwarfish and so low? How low am I? Thou painted maypole! <laughs> Speak! How low am I? I am not yet so low, but that my nails can reach under thy eyes! I pray, do you want me, gentlemen? That's what hurt me. I was like a curse. I have looked at all the intrusions. I am right pay for my cows. They will not strike me. Perhaps you should think, because she is something lower than I that I can match her. Lower? Her again? <laughs> Good Hermia. Do you not be so bitter with me? I cannot want to love you, Hermia. Did ever keep your counsels, never wronged you. <laughs> Say that in love unto Demetrius. I could not feel stealth into this wood. He followed you for love. I followed him. That he has chid me hence and threatened me to strike me, to spur me, to kill me even. And so he will let me quiet go to Athens, where he will bear my folly back and follow you no further, let me go. You see how simple and how fun I can be. Why get you gone? Who is it that hinders you? A foolish heart, which I leave here behind. What? With Lysander. With Demetrius!